Today I will show you one method how you can use the grass brush in Photoshop. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Today we will have a lot of fun creating custom grass font. Custom grass? Yeah, we will create a font that will look like a grass and it's custom made. Yeah, we can say custom grass font. Yeah, so let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's start. All right, for today's episode, we will use this image here. And first thing what we want to do is to make, to type some text over here. Let's press T on the keyboard for text tool and just type something. I will type grass, All right? It's not yet visible because I choose some crazy color font, but let's, let me see, let's make this a little bit bigger, like so maybe, or we can make it even bigger. And let me see, we can change the font if we don't like this one. I will change to something else, let me see. This one is interesting, All right? And I will make it even bigger, like so. Maybe like so, let me see. That's nice. That's really nice. We can make it even bigger, just for fun. Okay, that's really nice. Next step will be to create a work path from this text layer. How to do that? Well, it's pretty easy. I will show you just a quick. Go here to the text layer, right click it and cre create work path. Just click on create work path here option. And as you can see, we already have this working path and that's it. That's that's whole procedure. It's the same if we use a pen tool and just make this font uh, with a pen tool, but it's much, much slower and it's not so precise. All right, let's bring back the background. We will uh, leave this uh, text layer hide it because we don't need it anymore. And we will work only on this path here. Next thing what we need to do is to create our custom grass brush. Actually, we will use already predefined Photoshop brush, but we will tweak it, change it a little bit. So let's do that. Let's create a new layer. Let's name it grass. All right, and let's use a brush. Let's press B on the keyboard for a brush and right click it and choose first of two Photoshop grass brush. This one with 112 pixels. All right, and Let's zoom it if we, let's choose a new layer, All right? And if we paint with that, we will have black and white grass. And why is that? Well, because we have our default colors set as black and white. If we change this color, we will have different colors, colors here. Of course, we want to change it because we don't want black and white grass. We want, for example, background color to be a little bit darker green and foreground color to be something more yellowish and let me see now yeah this is much much better but we need to tweak this brush to get result that we want for this effect all right let's use let's go to the brush properties by pressing f5 on the keyboard like so and let's start from beginning brush tip shape spacing let's leave it 25 percent and let's go to the shape dynamics size jitter all the way up that's good and angle jitter we want to Put all the way up. What does this actually do to the brush? Well, as you can see, if I'm increasing this angle jitter, you can see how this uh, grass brush it's rotating, and that means that every time I put a stroke here, it will be a different angle, as you can see here. And that's what we want to achieve, because we want this brush to follow this path and to have result like so. And that's great. All right. Let's let me see around the jitter. Let's leave it here. Minimum roundness. We can leave it. We can pull all the way down to one one percent. All right. Let's uncheck the transfer because we don't need it. And let's go to the color dynamics here. We will leave everything as it is except the brightness jitter. We will pull it around 15, 16 percent. Let me see. That's great. What this option uh, does for for our brush? It's making every stroke a little bit more uh, changing the the brightness of every stroke a little bit if we put 
all the way to the 100%, you will see a lot of darker grass. It's appearing here on the scene, but we don't want so so dark. We will use something around 15, 16%. That's great. Okay, and one more thing. If I play with the grass like so, you, you can see how every uh, grass here, it's a nice smooth and I don't like it like that. I will use a texture here and just use any texture you, you want. Practically it doesn't matter. We can use this one maybe or this one and just decrease this depth slider a little bit and you will see a little bit more fuzzier edges of the brush and I like it, this a little bit better like so that's great okay now that we have our brush ready let's choose the brush size and then let's use a pen tool to trace this pet with the brush so let's do that for the brush size let me see now this is a good Brush size, I will use something like this to fill the gap between these two pads. That's pretty good brush size for a start. All right, that's nice. And the next step is to use a pen tool, P on a keyboard or just go here and click on the pen tool. Right click and go and choose a stroke pad. Uh, in the tool option here, you need to use a brush and uncheck this simulate pressure and press OK. As you can see, the brush will follow this pet all the way to the end and we will have something like this. That's great. Now let's press B on the keyboard again to go to the brush, the brush tool again. And now we will play with brush size. Increase brush size maybe for two clicks on, on the keyboard. All right, on the brackets keys and press enter to repeat the process again. All right, and we can increase it even more press enter and that's great. We can change even the color a little bit, make it a little bit brighter and make it this a little bit darker like so and decrease brush size. And this is too big like so. That's nice. And let's make again this a little bit brighter and the green a little bit darker. Just play with that experiment. You will have great results and that's not bad. Let me see again, enter. That's nice. It's already nice looking grass font. All right. If we are satisfied with this result, we can play a lot with that to go back and forth and do and play with the different brush sizes, etc., etc. But when you are satisfied with that, you can press delete key on a keyboard to delete this pad because you don't need it anymore. We now have only this grass font. Let's unzoom it and we have grass here. That's great. The next step will be to add a little bit more depth to this font and to put a shadow behind it to glue it to the wall actually. All right. First, what I want to do here is to add a curves adjustment layer and make a little bit more contrast here like so. But I don't want uh, changes in saturation and that's why I'll put the blending mode to luminosity. That's nice. The second, what I want to do here, it's maybe change the color of this green and I will use another curse. Okay. So, and make it something like so for now. That's okay. The next step is to use dodge and burn technique to add a little bit more depth to this font. If you don't know how to use dodge and burn, watch my dodge and burn tutorial here and then come back and finish this one. Otherwise just continue watching this one. All right, I will use a curves adjustment layer, make it a little bit brighter, clip it of course, make it a little bit brighter and invert the layer mask and that will be dodge. Duplicate it, control J, make it darker, clip it and I will call it B for burn, that's nice. Then use the brush tool, all right, and I will use the soft brush, that's great, use 10% opacity and let's have fun now. As you can see, the light is coming from the left, basically from this direction here, but we will treat it as it's coming from the left and we will make this part of the letters a little bit brighter, like, like so, and this part here and every part that it's on the left side 
and the image will make a little bit more brighter. Okay, this part here, right? And this part of the A, letter inside part two, right? And the S's, not S's, S's, two S, okay? Two S letters, <clears throat> right? And that's nice. Let me see. Okay, now let's go to the burn and burn make darker opposite sides. This size that it's closer to the wall. All right, two letter S, two, <clears throat> two S's, yeah. Right, and just make it darker like so. And you will see the final result in a second. Just have patient a little bit more. Right, like so, and here, like so, and you can already see that this is much better, okay, and let me unzoom it, let me show you before dodging and burning and after before and after it's much much better of course you can tweak it and uh, play with dodge burn even more i will stop here for this tutorial you will get a point here and now what we need to do next is to add a shadow here let's make a new layer beneath this one below the grass layer by pressing ctrl command key and click on a new layer let's name it shadow all right and let's load this selection by clicking holding ctrl and or command key and click on the grass layer go here use a brush and with alter option key just sample the wall color okay and fill it with that color alt or, or option key and backspace okay and put this layer into the multiply blending mode go here and nudge this layer a little bit down and right like so and i want to make it a little bit more blurrier okay filter blur gaussian blur and let me see two or so percent two and five percent that's nice wow already looking good we can of course change the opacity or no we can change the color we can make this even darker if we want let's use a curves adjustment layer oops yeah it's this one and make the shadow a little bit more darker like so maybe all right and that's good we can play with uh, the edge of this s letter <clears throat> okay and make it darker we can use another curve okay change everything like so oh it's nice i will make everything darker later okay like so and then we will use a gradient gradient tool and we will use black color as a foreground and just do like so and invert it okay um sorry like so that's nice and it's like it's affected with this shadow let me see we can go and feather this a little bit like so and that's nice then we can change the overall look of these letters and the image just a little bit let's make everything a little bit darker sorry uh, grass letter letters a little bit darker maybe like so that's nice and we can change go here to the background and we can make background a little bit darker like so and even more contrasty that's nice and that's it basically you can choose any font you like and type anything what you like and with this cool technique you can transform it into a grass into a grass type font All right guys that's it for today i hope that you like this tutorial and i hope that you learn something new out of it if you have any questions at all please leave them in the comment below i will be glad to answer them see you next week in the next fun episode bye bye 
Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Today we will have a lot of fun creating custom font, custom grass font, grass or grass? Custom grass, green, green grass, oh, grass.